give it a little bit. Guys, how are we doing today? It is Rafael Feliciano with Sizzle Southwest Florida, and we have another day, another bite. We're at another great restaurant. This time we are in downtown Naples. We are at Hobnob. Uh, it's one of the restaurants here, one of the staple restaurants here on Fifth Avenue South. And we're going to be meeting with Joe, Joe, Joe Gilliam. He's the general manager of Hobnob. And uh, we're going to be talking about food. We're going to be tasting food. We're going to eat the menu. We're going to have a glass of wine. And we're going to see what it's like to experience this awesome Restaurant Week menu. So for those that are tuning in, uh, Restaurant Week, if you guys have, haven't been following us, Restaurant Week is May 31st, June 13th. And what is Restaurant Week? So we'll start there. Restaurant Week is the top 70 restaurants all across Southwest Florida. And it's more than 70. And these restaurants are medium to high end, the best of the best, some of them four or five star restaurants, putting together three course meals, three course dinners, two course lunches, for the public to come and try their food. We want, they want guests, they want new diners, new eaters, they want people to experience food they've never had before. And from the restaurant side of it, we always do it twice a year. Restaurant week, we do, uh, we have our winter edition. It's always after Thanksgiving, before Christmas. And this is our spring edition. And this is more for the locals because we have a lot of local restaurants. A lot of the snowbirds are gone. It's easier to make reservations. It's easier to, to get into these restaurants. And we wanna have a lot of fun with the food. So three course menus all across Southwest Florida, the best of the best restaurants. And we also have a philanthropy side of things this year. We've, we've always worked with a lot of great charities, you know, from the Humane Societies to the Boys and Girls Club to St. Matthew's House. But this year we wanted to do something very special. We wanted to make a difference and impact somewhere in our industry, in the food and tourism and travel. So we started our FGCU uh, Sizzle Southwest Florida FGCU Food and Beverage Scholarship. And for those that don't know, it's it's very simple. You can also you get some more information on our website. We also have a Facebook page for it. Uh, it's basically a high school graduate that graduated from a local high school here in Southwest Florida. They get to if they're at FGCU and they're interested in the resort and hospitality program, they can go ahead and apply for this scholarship to help them become cooks and caterers and managers and and really help the industry here because we don't just want people to graduate from the local universities we want them to stay here and to work and to flourish and to live and we want to help this economy grow and you know restaurants is what we do food is what we love so there's no better way for us to do that and if you guys are tuning in make sure you like the video love the video share it we have anthony on the camera holding the camera today Anthony, what's going on, man? Hey, guys. How you doing? How you doing, so, Raphael? I'm good, man. I'm good. So, All listen, right, Anthony's been with us. He's actually one of our FGCU uh, students that's been holding the camera. He's been helping us with everything. And, you know, you're not a resort and hospitality student, but you're a student at FGCU. So, no. how how is something like a scholarship benefiting the kids and, and, and fulfilling your dreams and your programs? How is that cool? Yeah, it's pretty cool because I'm, I'm going to school to pursue my passion. And that's basically what these guys who are getting these scholarships are all trying to do you know it's supporting a dream sort of supporting them in their futures listen more importantly how, how have you been eating oh my that gosh <laughs> <laughs> that's that's something else man i never eaten like this before it's yeah crazy. you're not on this college diet right now no. we're, we're eating for real so guys we yeah. have anthony on the camera we're gonna go now we're gonna go live with uh joe joe gilliam of hobnob naples joe thank you so much for doing this very much, oh, so you out today. thank you, thank you. So well, this is a little look at the food that we're about to talk about, and we're gonna take a seat and uh, we're gonna talk about it. Sounds good. All right, oh, Joe. All right, let's let's start here. So Hobnob, it's been here. How long has it been here now? Uh, we just uh, finished our fourth year. Fourth year. Fourth year here, and very happy to be here and be part of the restaurant community in Naples. That's awesome. And Fifth Ave, what, what is it like being a restaurant here in downtown Naples? It, you know, there, there's a lot. They have a lot of options here in Naples, everywhere you go, uh, all kinds of different food, a lot of Italian. Uh, and it's nice to be part of, you know, we're a little bit different than some of the other restaurants. We're a little bit more lively, uh, a little Beautiful bit more fun. Beautiful restaurant, too. If, if Anthony, you turn around, let them see a little bit of the inside of the restaurant. 
I mean, where is what do you what was the theme of this restaurant? Uh, uh, the owners, uh, Mike and Lisa Hernandez, uh, she has a very eclectic uh, designer palette. So you know, you have the distressed wood, you know, a little bit of modern elements here and there, uh, and it just really kind of reflects their personal design. You know, they wanted to create a place that was fun to come to, fun to you know, great food, great service where. You know, if you drop a fork, you know, the whole restaurant's not going to fall apart. Yeah. We're just going to give you a new fork and keep going. It's yeah. all about coming in, having a good place to eat, and, you know, meeting with your friends and enjoying yourself. And if people have been following us, um, we did Public House earlier last week. Okay. And it's very nice decor. That's a sister restaurant. That's our sister restaurant. And uh, how would you say, I mean, food-wise, we'll, you know, where's the difference between Hobnob and Public House? Also, then, the, you know, geographically. Okay. Well, you know, we are, we have the same executive chef, Tony, uh, Tony Biagetti. Uh, and his, you know, work ethic and his uh, taste goes through all the menus. So he's the one who designs that, working with Michael and Lisa. Uh, one of the things they do is, you know, we're in downtown Naples on Fifth Avenue, so we have a little bit of a higher price point than Public House. So we can, you know, serve a few more items because we can get a few more dollars kind of yeah. thing. So. Well, that's awesome. Well, let's, let's start. We're going to start looking at the food. Um, if we have never been to Hobnob, and we're going to go for Restaurant Week, because we want, the whole goal of Restaurant Week, we want people to come to a place they've never ate before. We want them to enjoy your menu and come back. So where do we start on this beautiful menu? Well, you know, we've got a few items for you to take a look at today, and uh, we have a few things that we, uh, you know, you can call them share plates, small plates, whatever, but food that encourages people to, you know, talk together, and you can eat off the same plate and share items. Uh, starting with our Which first... Which is modern. That's, that's, like where, that's where it's at right now. Yeah, it's all about sharing and communi community. And you yeah. guys do... I mean, I mean the way your the restaurant's set up too. A lot of big tables. Uh, we encourage big parties. You know, you, if you call us up and you need eight people, we can find room for you. You yeah. know, we don't have a problem with that, and you don't feel like you've been shoved into a corner and made to fit into something that doesn't work. Yeah, awesome. So, where do we start? Okay, well, our first uh, item we have is we have our hobnob deviled eggs. That looks delicious. Which uh, have a. a sweet tomato jam, and there's a little bit of bacon on top of that. Because you can't go wrong with bacon. Now, that's something that... Now, this, these items, are these items that are always on your menu? Or these are you? regular items. Everything on this, uh, the uh, special Restaurant Week menu is on our regular menu as well. Awesome. So these are ones we carry year-round. Awesome. So we have a... These, I mean, this is a classic. This is a classic. It's a classic. Double it's well-made. It's... You know, the beauty of uh, this restaurant is the food is very consistent. If you came in six months ago and you loved it and you come in tonight, we're going to make sure you have the same great experience. The yeah. same food experience as well. That's awesome. Well, listen, the double eggs look great, but me and Anthony have been talking okay. <laughs> about this since it came in. We've been looking at these stuffed chilies or peppers. Uh, they're stuffed, uh, stuffed sweet baby and peppers. you got to get close on that. Okay, we got a couple different types here. We have uh, on... The, okay, so what's this? Well, we'll go this type. What's this type okay. right here? Uh, that is the Italian sausage. Okay. Uh, and that comes with uh, uh, mozzarella. Uh, the one here in the middle. Oh, please... Can you, get, can you reach there? You're going to have to grab a plate. Uh, uh, the one in the middle is the uh, crab with cream cheese. Oh, look at and that. And bacon. Okay. Go ahead. Get on in there. It's okay. Uh, and bacon on top. And you've got to have oh, bacon. Once yeah. again, bacon is a consistent theme. We love our bacon. Uh, and then on the end is the uh, Italian sausage and um, chorizo and queso fresco. Oh, right there. All right, guys. Look. I have to eat this. Yeah, it's it. Listen, which one is I, this? That's uh, the crab. With the cream cheese, that's it. I feel like we, you know, we're, we're teasing your uh, your cameraman here. Just there you go. We can put a plate over here for him too. You know, we yeah. go back. To well, that. you know, you have to, you know, share with the cameraman. Listen. You want to get that good camera angle. You got to, got to make <laughs> so sure we're taking care. He gets fed right soon. Okay. done with all this. <laughs> so this had mozzarella cheese in there. No, that's the uh, the crab with oh, the, the cream cheese. Right. The crab and cream cheese. That is delicious. And then this one is the. That's the chorizo with the uh, queso fresco. Okay, so I'm gonna put that on top. The, Oh, oh, that's it, you know. That's an action shot right there, ladies and gentlemen. And that's just an appetizer. Those are just little appetizers. They're great with it, you know. You can eat it all by yourself, or you can be nice and share it with the people you're with. Man, so on your menu, why did you choose these? I mean, that's obvious. Mm -hmm. If I came here and I've never had your menu, and I ordered those the stuffed peppers... I mean, I'd come back. Is that the goal? Uh, the goal is obviously to prevent something that is, then you come in and it's a totally different experience. Uh, so we wanted to make food that you can share. 
mm -hmm. so that you can each get different things and not have to you know double up on items. That's awesome. All right, checking in on social media. Guy Clark says, "Hey, hey, hey." He's over here. JC says, "Fun Friday time." She wants. She wants those deviled eggs. I'm just saying. <laughs> so, they look so good. Should someone deliver them to you? Or... Listen, if you make it in here by 10 minutes, you can have yeah, it all. Yeah, we can share. Yeah, we, we can, can share. share. I mean, we, do enough... we do open up at 3.30. Yeah, so. there's enough food on this plate. So, awesome. Oh, and guys, if you're just tuning in, like the video, share the video. Restaurant week, May 31st and June 13th. One dollar from every meal sold is going to our Sizzle Southwest Florida Food and Beverage Scholarship. And... 70 of the best restaurants all across Southwest Florida. We're here with Joe, uh, uh, general manager of Hobnob in downtown Naples. You just missed us eating the, the stuffed chilies. And if you missed it, that's your loss because <laughs> we're going to something else and we're going to eat that when the video, that, when the video <laughs> ends. We'll be sharing that. All right. So, God, I can't believe how good that was. Okay. So what do we have right here? Okay. And, uh, you know, uh, going on to our more of our main courses, this is our hanger steak. Uh, that comes with the uh, blue cheese and the tomato. Uh, I'm sorry, the sweet onion jam, and with a little Bernays sauce on top of it. Hanger and steak. Hanger steak and our house-made uh, French fries. We actually, Anthony had some of the French fries earlier. That's what? <laughs> he was telling me. Wait how a minute. Good it was. I, thought, I thought that pile was bigger a minute ago. <laughs> All right, so you have the hanger steak. Can you get it any temperature you want? Uh, we do cook it to temperature. So awesome. yeah. And this here is the. That's our uh, sweet onion and uh, blue cheese jam. Awesome. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Actually, I, love, I, I don't ever say no to onion jam, so <laughs> there it is. That's it. Oh, putting that in front of That's me because it. as when the, when he's looking at the food, I'm going to eat that. That's it. <laughs> and, um, Okay, and that's, and that's another popular dish These for you? These are both popular dishes that we uh, serve all summer long. Okay, and so you have a meat. You have a meat dish. We have a meat dish. We have a chicken dish. We have rotisserie chicken. We have oh, a fish okay. dish. Uh, with the grouper and chips. Oh, yeah, here. Actually, Anthony, go through, put the camera on that. They have a really long, I mean, this is a really nice selection we, that you guys have. We Can didn't want to be that restaurant that just gave you a salad and one or two things to choose from and then a little, you know, some leftover cake. So, you know, we want you to come and get the full experience of what we offer here at Hobnob. Uh, and I, we also, there's, enjoy. Um, uh, so we have the steak and fries. I'm sorry. Right. I was supposed to ask a question, but I'm <laughs> eating. <laughs> Uh, so for our main courses, we're going to be offering uh, steak and fries, which is the hanger steak, uh, the smoked salmon right here. Okay, so we got the salmon. Let's okay. go there next. <laughs> the salmon. The salmon is next in line. Awesome. That looks good. And I this mean, is our uh, we uh, cold smoked the salmon here. It comes with a cucumber crema, cherry tomatoes. Uh, it's a wonderful dish. Mm, so this here is the that's the cucumber crema sauce. Cucumber crema sauce. And underneath? Uh, there's uh, little heirloom cherry tomatoes. There's fresh dill and uh, onion. Awesome. What does this taste like? Cucumber sauce? I'm hoping. <laughs> oh, wow. That's different. That almost tastes like when you, sometimes when you go to a good taco place, mm -hmm. you know, they'll have that cucumber yeah, sauce. Yeah, they And that's on the salmon. I mean, that's going to be interesting. The, and I'm only doing this because I do this every video. This is part of, like... That's you know, job. you got to do yeah, it. And, and guy, guy hasn't been. He he's been home working, um, doing a lot of the, the back end stuff with the emails and all the answering. So, guy, listen, I'm eating for you, man. This and is this is why I'm doing it. The, th <laughs> the things you do for work, right? The uh, wow, that salmon with the cucumber sauce is different. That's uh, and it's nice. The dill's a little bit more traditional, but it's a really and it's one of our best selling items we have. Here. I think it's a really fresh taste. Mm -hmm. I really like how nice it, and clean. It's I, I, it's something that I think when you think summer in Naples, you know, yeah. next to the water on the Gulf, like that's where you want to be at. Excellent, awesome. Okay. Yeah, so Mark says he's losing a lot of weight not working. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, great. So not only does the camera put on ten pounds on me, I'm eating every day four times a day. So put it on. Takes me. it off of him. Yeah, I guess. Well, good, well, good, man. I'm happy. I want him to. You know, I want. Every, I want all of us to be healthy, live long, healthy lives. So, okay. We just had the salmon. We had the hanger steak. We had some of the deviled eggs. We had the stuffed chilies. And now, not you know. Last but not least, sweet. 
And I know Anthony. Anthony was uh, when we did the photos for this because we did a photo shoot earlier. First thing he said was, "My sweet tooth is getting that's, in." That's, and there's <laughs> enough for everybody. That's certainly a shareable item there. Now, tell us about this. Is this something you make in house? This is all. All our desserts are made fresh, and we make them all here in house. Whipped cream, all that stuff. Uh, too. It's you know you watch them in the back, just going to town making wow. that. Uh, no, no cool whip. Uh, no and uh, the nice thing about this particular chocolate torta, it is gluten free. Gluten free. That's awesome. And okay, so this is With a. The, a chocolate tort. Tort. Get up close on that. Guys, I would take a bite of that, but we have three more restaurants to go to, <laughs> so I just can't do that to myself. Um, okay, awesome. Awesome, awesome. So we went through some appetizers, some entrees, a dessert. Let's go one last time. We're going to go like a circular motion of what you have, what we have in front of us here at Restaurant Week menu. Okay, today we are showing the uh, deviled eggs, hobnob deviled eggs. Okay. Uh, we are showing the uh, stuffed peppers, three different uh, flavors. Uh, for our entrees, we have the hanger steak, and Beautiful. then we have our smoked salmon. With the cucumber sauce. With the cucumber crema. Oh, the cucumber <laughs> crema. And finishing up with our sweet, the chocolate torte. Awesome. That looks all delicious. Now, Joe, I'm going to ask you a question just because, you know, it's something that's important to us. You're in the restaurant industry, and this is the first year we have the scholarship. We hear all the time that restaurants need help back of house, front of house. So, you know, our goal, our mission is we want to try to help support the restaurants, also doing so in a way that we can help local kids. How how bad do you guys need help? I mean, how where it, is the restaurant industry right now? It, you know what? We can always find lots of people for the front of the house. You know, we can find bartenders. We can find servers. It, finding qualified restaurant people to work in the kitchen is incredibly difficult. And then not only finding them but maintaining them yeah because naples is an incredibly expensive community and we just we need to find a way to get these people get them trained which fgcu has a great program and we're happy to be involved with that uh and to get these uh gentlemen work and and, and a good place to work yeah you know and and get them to stay here yeah so that's I mean, the that's biggest so difficulty we have is get, you know naples finding a place for these people to be able to remain here after yeah, we always see. We always say that the food scene here is growing. We say that you know this area, even though I mean it kind of feels that sometimes we're five, ten years behind everywhere else. That we're growing though. We're we're starting to turn the corner, and and what's going to happen when these young people, you know, they they start living and growing down here and have their families. So this is a huge thing for us, and and we're very proud to be part of that. And it's one of the main reasons we decided to join in uh, Restaurant Week. This oh yeah, year. you guys are a public house and hobnob, brand new restaurants brand for Restaurant new. Week. What was the turning corner of getting you guys finally to, uh, uh, you to know, want to be a part of it? Uh, we spoke to other restaurateurs and other managers up and down the street, and they t said how successful it was and how much it's grown over the last two, three years that it's been here. Uh, and we just really wanted to be part of it. Yes. And, <laughs> and it is. I mean, no, it's, 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 been a long com it's been a long way coming. We started in 2015. We didn't have many restaurants. And, you know, now we have a scholarship. And we I have to shout out our sponsors. Restaurant Week is, I know this sounds like an ad, but <laughs> it's going to sound like an ad, but Restaurant Week is presented by Mercedes-Benz of Benita Springs. If you guys see my shirt, a lot of our clothes during our outfits, Greg Norman is also one of our sponsors as well. So shout out to Don over there at Miramar Outlets. And uh, yeah, no, I mean, we, we think it's growing and we, we think the area is growing and we just want to be a part of it and we want to use food to get people to live here. And absolutely, and it's, it's very important to be part of the community. We, you know, great restaurants. Uh, we're surrounded by them, and it just makes everybody better. Yeah. You know, and we're part of the community, and we feed the community, and we want the community to think of us as uh, theirs. We, you know, we're kind of like your living room sometimes. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Joe, listen, thank you thank so you. much. I did. I know that. I know you guys today. open up soon, and we got some other restaurants to go to. Guys, if you're just tuning in, remember Restaurant Week, May 31st to June 13th. We have s over 70 restaurants across Southwest Florida, the best of the best. These restaurants are putting together awesome, spectacular menus. If you go to sizzlerestaurantweek.com, you can see all the list of restaurants, all the cities that we're in, all the menus that are um, going to be offered and available. And listen, you're dining with purpose. We're using the hashtag. Hashtag sizzle SWFL and the hashtag dine with purpose because one dollar from every meal sold during restaurant week is going to our Sizzle Sapos Florida FGCU Food and Beverage Scholarship. So if you're gonna dine out or you know, instead of going to, you know, X, Y, and Z restaurant that may not be part of restaurant week, 
Give a new restaurant a try. Give, come down to Hobnob here in downtown Fifth Avenue. Try some restaurants in Marco and Cape Coral. Go out of your comfort zone and, and know that every time you dine, you know, you're making a, don a contribution to a really great cause. So, guys, this is Rafael Feliciano. We are, we're getting out of here because we're going to another restaurant. I think we're going to Dorona next, then Campiello, then The Real Macaw. So, that's why I didn't eat as much in this video, but hopefully I make it through the real McCall. And uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Like, share, and uh, we'll talk to you guys soon.